our wine today is from a very obscure, very delicious grape variety called Pecorino, which is found mainly in the Marche, in on the on the Adriatic coast of Italy. Although you do find scatterings of it in Abruzzo and Umbria and Lazio as well in Italy. It's a grape variety that by the 1970s was really very, very much on the verge of extinction. Um, at that point, some forgotten vines were rediscovered by a winemaker called Guido Rifoni, which is quite a fabulous name, who decided that it was worthy of rehabilitation and so started propagating the vines and planting large vineyards of them and making wine from it. And he was successful enough that people took notice and started planting Pecorino themselves. Probably one of the reasons it had fallen out of favour was that it, it's not a particularly easy variety to grow. It's quite thin-skinned, and thin-skinned varieties are always a nightmare because they're particularly susceptible, susceptible to disease. Um, it's now made both in wines as a single varietal, but probably most often seen as a blending component because it has quite high acidity. So that means it's very good for adding kind of freshness to a blend. This particular example is one that comes from an estate that we like very much. Choo Choo, um, what the range of wines is called Choo Choo, this is the Choo Choo Pecorino, is an estate run by two brothers, the Bartolomeo brothers, um, Walter and Massimiliano, which is another fabulous name. Um, they make a red that we stock, but this particular version is um, really, for my money, one of the nicest Pecorinos I've ever tasted. They ferment theirs for six to eight months in wood. It's not new. Um, it's not very old though, but it's not brand new, just to give a very slight, rich creaminess to the spicy, nutty, and then fresh flavours. So there's really quite a lot going on. Um, Pecorino, incidentally, is thought by some people to be the, um, the parent, or one of the parents, of the white Pinots, Pinot Blanc and Pinot Gris. Um, that's actually quite unlikely, I have to say, but I thought I'd mention that that is what the thinking is, just um, in case you wanted to taste this and see for yourself. So on the nose, this has got that fantastic combination of kind of fresh spiciness and then underneath that something a bit richer and creamier from the oak. Oh, very lovely wine. Again, quite kind of multi-purpose because you have that lovely combination of quite fresh acidity, but something richer and even quite spicy. Um, I've had this with fish, red mullet actually, which was very lovely with a very fresh herb salad. But I think given that there's a bit of richness there, um, chicken, pork, maybe even veal would work really well too.